on this 75th anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, we honour the wisdom of its drafters. People like Bertha Lutz of Brazil, P.C. Chang of China, Minerva Bernardino of the Dominican Republic, H.J. Mehta of India, Eleanor Roosevelt of the United States, and Jessie Street of Australia. All were seized of this simple fact. Human rights apply equally to all people, no matter who you happen to be or where you happen to be born. This was a global charter for the whole human family across east to west and north to south. They enshrined in this declaration that every individual should be able to live equally and that no one should be held in slavery or servitude. Article 23 guarantees that freedom. It affirms that everyone has the right to work, to free choice of employment, to just and favourable conditions of work and to protection against unemployment. Modern slavery is widespread and insidious. It is woven into our supply chains and our economy, exacerbated by disparities of power and opportunity in our global economy. And there is no way it can be eradicated unless wealthy, developed countries take the lead by ceasing to consume goods made by forced labour. Australia recognises our responsibility to act at home. And we are pledging to strengthen Australia's domestic regulation, the Modern Slavery Act, we are also establishing an anti-slavery commissioner. These pledges are matched by support for work internationally, led by Australia's ambassador to counter modern slavery, people smuggling and human trafficking. This pledge is one aspect of our ongoing commitment to protect and promote universal human rights. We do all we can in the ways that we can, motivated by principle and acting with purpose. We pledge to work with our region and with the whole UN membership to improve human rights for all. By listening to each other and by acting together, all of us can choose to shape the world for the better.